In this lesson, we're going to be talking about what you should expect from this advanced white hat hacking video course. We're going to be talking about ethical hacking, not surprisingly, and we're going to be doing a lot of walkthroughs for different aspects of ethical hacking from tools and techniques to different things that you may be faced with as you go through performing penetration tests and doing ethical hacking. This is not a series of cookbooks. The thing about this type of work is it's not as simple as here's a playbook and a set of rules that you're going to go by. You're going to run into a lot of challenges. Often things just don't work the way that they are expected to work. Sometimes a vulnerability that claims to be there or you expect to be there actually doesn't function in the way that you would otherwise expect it to. There's not a cookbook here. There aren't a set of recipes that you can just follow and jump straight into doing this type of work. It does take knowledge, it takes experience, and it takes a lot of just plain stick to itiveness. You've got to persist in doing this, and if you get stuck going one way, you've got to find another. It takes some creativity and being able to look and find solutions that may not be there right in front of you. You've got to be able to dig around a little bit. This is really a collection of starting places and a way to expand maybe your knowledge and skill set and some pointers in some places that you may be able to go doing ethical hacking. We're going to be talking about a lot of tools and techniques, as I mentioned previously, and hopefully that will be some starting places and maybe give you some ideas on how you might be able to proceed when you get stuck and can't actually do what you expected to do as easily as you expected to do it. Being able to jump into something different, find another trail to go down, and follow that path. So that's really what we're going to be talking about and what you should expect from this set of videos.